would you do if you felt that you were getting bad advice from your financial service provider or you just weren't happy with the way you're being treated? That is what we are talking about today on Perpetual Guardian Money Matters with Charlotte Lockhart. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Now, people with no understanding of money matters can actually feel quite helpless and confused by it all, can't they? Yes, well, and we often use someone that's been recommended or we, and we trust our financial advisors. Um, and so it can be very disappointing when you get that wrong and they let you down. Absolutely, because, I mean, we do. We go by word of mouth a lot of the time we and we do. really do trust that and it's very disheartening when it's wrong so I do like the fact that you've got some advice from consumer yes. let's take a look at this so when they come to us about their banking problems they're generally about fees um, about um, accounts uh, mortgage break fees and in terms of financial advisors we tend to find that's around disclosure um, the products they've been put into and sometimes the fees there are four financial disputes resolution services so it can be a bit confusing for consumers the, the biggest one of these schemes is the Banking Ombudsman Scheme. It has the smallest number of members because it only has retail bankers. But of course it has the biggest number of users because just about everybody has a bank account. And there are three others um, that deal with everybody else in the financial um, advice industry. So look, the other three are the Financial Disputes Resolution Service, the Financial Services Complaints Service, and the Insurance and Financial Services Ombudsman. So all of those three deal with financial advisors that are outside of the banking industry. It can be a bit confusing to know where to go but um, if you have got a problem you can come to us to our site and we'll certainly tell you where you can find these people. It's important um, for consumers to know that all financial advisors of any nature have to belong to a scheme and they have to let you know that they belong to a scheme. So you can ask them or if you are having difficulties you know feel free to come to us. Disputes resolution schemes are an informal way um, of helping people to resolve their problems. Um, it moves it away from courts which are expensive and involve lawyers and is a way for people to get a fair and reasonable outcome when they think that they've got a dispute with their, either their bank or their financial advisor. So to make a complaint your dispute has to be what the industry calls at deadlock. That means that you've been through their internal processes and you must do that first and you feel that the outcome that they have arrived at is not fair to you. It's at that stage you can complain to a disputes resolution service. But you can ask them about that even before it gets to that stage and they will tell you um, how, to, how to complain. You can complain in any way you like, so it can be over the phone, it can be by email, you can send them a letter. They have to accept your complaint in the way that you send it to them. And as I said, it's an informal structure, so they'll have a look at your complaint. Um, they may be able to resolve it very quickly, it may have to go into mediation, you might have to go and have a chat to them. If you've got documents, that's really helpful. But they will do their best to come to a resolution of your problem. Well look, if you want more information on any of this, um, feel free to come to consumer.org.nz. We have a very big um, list of all the disputes resolution services and we'll be able to help you. That's some really good advice there and it's, it's quite nice to know that there are agencies that will argue your case for you. Oh absolutely and the reality is that um, people often get embarrassed that they've been let down or they feel like they've been hoodwinked and so can often be, a, don't be, the papers are full of quite sensible and quite famous people that get money matters wrong so the best thing to do is if you are deadlocked as, as Sue has re, uh, referred to that you go and get some advice. Yeah, if you feel that's just something is not quite right go and get advice. Absolutely, yeah because if it's if it's a scam it's a scam. Because you do feel like that don't you, you feel yeah. a little bit silly like oh I should have I should have researched it or it was my own fault when really it's not. No, absolutely not. We're all, you know, we're all we all make mistakes. We all do dumb things on occasion, <laughs> don't we? So don't don't beat yourself up about it. Hey, well, Charlotte, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio as always with some very very good advice, and we'll see you again next week for Perpetual Guardian Money Matters.